This book, An Introduction to Southern California Butterflies, it's got this nice photograph that shows the giant swallowtail. And what's distinctive about it, it's got that gold band that runs horizontally across the entire wingspan. And a lot of the rest of it is entirely dark or almost black. And it shows us this lemon tree as an example of the host plant, that it's a host plant for giant swallowtails. So this is one of the citrus we have. It is a lemon tree and it is the largest one we have. And right now there are some sulfur butterflies that are floating around it. I have never once seen a giant swallowtail around it, nor have I ever noticed any caterpillars on it, although it's possible there have been. The second largest citrus that we have is over here on the east side. Uh, this is a variety of lime. This is a, a dwarf orange. And then there's another one over here that is also another variety of orange. So that's all the citrus that we have for a giant swallowtail to uh, lay its eggs on. The giant swallowtails seem to follow a trail, so to speak, that goes along by what I call the jungle, which is this thicket and runs out here to these giant sycamores here. That's one of them. And the other one is right there. A sycamore is a host plant for certain varieties of butterflies, a number of varieties of butterflies, including swallowtails, but apparently not the giant swallowtail. They have some kind of a, what do they call it? A, a topping reaction where they want to go to hilltops. We're on a hill in Fullerton and this is the highest little area here on our lot. But at any rate, that's kind of the corridor where I see the giant swallowtails, including the one that's over there right now. But he's over there doing what he does so often. He goes along that and then he flies over the top and goes over to the other side. So now I'll show you the giant swallowtail. There's that one up there. And now there's actually two of them up there. And they've gone. But this business of trying to video a flying butterfly is pretty tough. So next I'll show you where he landed over here last night. 